really, my daughters would not be here, and my son would not be here without John Hopkins Children's Center. So um, you'll find links below, and um, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I'm gonna make this quick this year. I'm raising money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center because they saved my oldest daughter's life twice. And my youngest children were in a NICU in a hospital that's affiliated with Johns Hopkins. So any amount of money that you can help me raise really means so much to me because it really, my daughters would not be here and my son would not be here without Johns Hopkins Children's Center. So um, you'll find links below and um, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I'm going to make this quick this year. It's time for Cthulhu Saves the World, Episode 1. Hey guys, so um, this game is looks pretty interesting. Reminds me of the um, RPGs I loved to play so much as a kid. Um, I was a huge, huge um, fan of the RPGs that Square made. So um, let's give this a little, little look-see. city of Relay. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive your mortals insane. Cthulhu sleeps while the world goes up all above, goes on oblivious to his presence, until tonight. Awaken, great Cthulhu. As Cthulhu emerged from the bay, the world seemed doomed indeed. But, wait, what's that? A brave and mysterious stranger has appeared from high atop yonder cliff. Using a strange holy power, the mysterious stranger has sealed the wake of this horrible power. <coughs> His power drained, Cthulhu washes upon the neighboring shore, defeated and dejected. Yeah! After waiting all this time, to have victory snatched from my craft by a mere mysterious man is highly frustrating. I must get my powers back. But how? Luckily for the world, Cthulhu didn't know the one and only way to break the curse and regain his powers. In order to break the curse and regain his powers, he would have to do the unthinkable. He would have to become a true hero. Only by becoming a true hero would his powers return to him. <laughs> Foolish narrator, while you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping. Now I too know the way to regain my power. Whoops. I, Cthulhu, do hereby vow, vow to devote my life to becoming a true hero but only so that I can regain my powers, summon Riley to the surface, and destroy the world, of course. And thus, the most unlikely hero was born. Uh, we're already breaking the fourth wall here. Welcome to you, life as a wannabe RPG hero. Before we begin, allow me to give you a few pointers. The great Cthulhu needs no assistance. However, for the benefit of the lowly player who dares control me, I will allow you to continue with your fuel tips. Hold a B button while moving to run really fast. <laughs> Foolish game developer, I gave you the ability to run. I'll finish this game half the time. We have to sell it back to the game store before the trade value drops. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Press the press the white button to bring your menu from you can chat with members of your party, check out your stats, start a fight, change your equipment, save your game, or teleport back to cities you visited. I can save at any time? What is this? A first person shooter? Use abilities like Insanity Slash and in Combat to make your enemies insane. Insane enemies take more damage from attacks, but watch out, a few enemies become more dangerous when insane. There will be no watching out. I shall bestow the gift of insanity upon all. Build up your combo count with hits, then unleash a powerful combo finisher ability like Death Blow for massive damage. Are you done yet? If it's alright with you, I'd like to actually play this game sometimes here. Good luck. Cosmic monstrosities don't need luck. We forge our own destiny, no matter what the cost of humanity. Cool. I like that his tentacles, you know, his wings kind of go back and forth.
these are level 3. <laughs> nice. A little more forgiving than the usual uh, RPG that I used to play. Aha! Helpless me set by Vicious Monster Master Risker, thus becoming a true hero. That would work for a normal person, but you have a lot of evil to atone for. It will take many heroic deeds before you're considered remotely close to being a true hero. Bah, I will kill the monsters anyway, just for the sake of violence. Who defeated the final slime monster? He turned his gaze to the maiden that he rescued. Gorgeous! What? When Umi gazed upon the mighty Cthulhu, she did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. <laughs> Instead, she saw this. <laughs> Warning, image display may not reflect reality. My hero! Hero indeed! Did you hear that? Do I count as a true hero yet? No. Yeah, at this rate, I should never become a true hero regain my cosmic powers of destruction. Oh, brave warrior who has saved me from a gooey death, let me join you on your noble quest. Do you want to do anything besides get attacked by slime monsters? I have an affinity with the creatures of the sea and call them my friends. Pass. Oh, and I have this trident, which I use to stamp things? That's more like it. And above all, I owe you promise you my wholehearted love and devotion. You quick, big, hunger of handsomeness. This the great Cthulhu requires groupies. You shall do. Yay, does it mean we're dating now? No, we're strictly in a rockstar groupie relationship. For now, hee <laughs> hee. Umi has joined your party. Now that you have a second party member, you can use the chat command. You can use, use multiple character unite techniques in battle. Gain more allies to unlock more unite abilities. Random encounters are now active in this dungeon. After fighting 25 battles in this area, random encounters will be turned off. If you'd like to fight beyond that, press the Y button to bring up the main menu and select the fight option. Is that a live starfish in your hair? Yes, her name is Penta. Isn't she cute? Live starfish in your hair, and people think I'm disgusting. Miskatonia is just past this series of caves. I'm sure there are some heroic deeds you could do there. To Miskatonia.
Bad guys are gone. Yeah, let's keep going. Oop, now we're outside. Oop, that's not the way out, I guess. I'm gonna have to go through this way. I'm Evo... Evo Nalina, on behalf of the Earth Queen, will right the wrongs that trample over you, and that means you. Just believe the name, I'm here to steal for the wicked and give for the just. I'm Dash the Daring, my courage is only rivaled by my good looks. We're the three heroes of God's goodly justice. <coughs> Dark Fiend Cthulhu, we will defeat you and restore our rights to the world. 
You're a dark fiend. You should have told me. That's so sexy. I guess you use your ball magic to ensnare her beautiful mate. Release her. Please, if I was using my magic to ensnare someone, I would have picked someone much harder. Hey. Yo, narrator, do I get hero points for defeating annoying heroes? No. Well, I'm going to beat them up anyway. Virtuous trying to what we're sure to win. A friend with that dude looked at Virtuous pulling behind the cloak and all. I was kinkage. Leave me alone. <laughs> Puny humans, even my powers locked away, I have more than enough power to do with you. Prepare to be defeated. died. They died? Time to try again. Alright. See if I can do a better job this time. Okay. Oh, I had push. I didn't know I had potions. Ooh, call Kraken. Nice. Who's called Kraken? Let's see. She has a tea star in her hand. Why? I don't know. Probably already respawned in the nearest church. What if I'm like that? Probably. Enough contemplation. I'll work to hear what's Alright, I'm gonna save here.